Good hello everyone, I'm Pyrolus here at Bakatog Studios with my co-host Boon Chan. Hello. And Weezian. Hi, I'm Weez. Alright, so today we've gathered here today to host our weekly episode. We're going to be talking about multiple things here. Of course, we've got our Bakatog news today. Yeah, we're going to be talking about Berserk. Basically, and how it's coming out with volumes and also ending at a very recent, if not... Very soon volume. Yeah! How do you feel about this, Weez? I don't know. I mean, it's kind of sad that it's going to end and they're not going to be able to, like, actually finish it. Yeah. I do think it's cool that there's one more chapter coming out and I'm excited to read it. All right. But, I don't know. There's also rumors that they're going to continue it. Um, like the assistants are gonna continue. Well, they could it. do a spin-off series, is what they might do since the They could do a spin-off there. series. It's in a weird place in the manga right now too, because it's not like a big battle's going on. Yeah. They're literally just like hanging out in like elf world. It's like in the book game where uh, we get to like a calm point and then someone wants to switch the game. Pretty much. Yeah. It's like yeah, it's just this weird like lull in the story where there's like nothing going on and they're all just kinda hanging out, which is very different for most of Berserk. Although there was that one point where it was going on hiatus for so long and it like they got on a boat and by the time like because the hiatus and everything was so short that it was like 10 years by the time they got off the boat. Yeah. So like everyone was like we finally got off the freaking boat because it, it was like whatever chapters while they were on the boat like took years although you can read it in like What did the guy die of again? He died of like uh, aortic dissection, I think it was called. What's it, that? it was a health complication. I know that. It's um, it's like a heart attack. Uh, it's a, let's see, a tear occurs in the inner layer of the main uh, artery mm-hmm. of your blood, and it basically kills you like instantly. And there's like no way to find it for it to like. It's just. It's so kind it's like of like random. Gonna yeah, okay. like you'll be completely healthy and then have this happen. Okay. So, it's it's not something they could have like. I was about to say, if you like, what if he knew it? Was yeah, gonna, like, plan it that's out, the but... other thing is like if he had some disease that like he knew he was going to eventually decay and die from. Yeah. It would make more sense, especially with him like putting more chapters out. Maybe he wanted to try to finish it, or yeah. maybe he was like getting his assistants ready to finish it. But it sounds like he just died very suddenly. Yeah. So, no one so was expecting he was only like sixty something too. So, he was 60-something. And I yeah. think he was in pretty good health, too. Yeah. Like, I don't think he was... Japanese do look past 100, so yeah. He was 54. Okay. Yeah, 54. That's crazy. Says here right in the articles. So that's cool that they're coming out with the first volume. Or a first volume in a while. So I'm guessing they've had a couple volumes come out. The The article says Berserk Manga's first volume in three years three ships years. on December 24th. Yeah, because he hasn't published enough chapters to make a volume in three years. Right, so, so it's probably just gonna be the finishing works and maybe a ending. There's like forty. No, they, they would they would definitely add the ending because there's no way that they would do one last volume and then not have like the last chapter. I don't know, because it's gonna depend. Like, because if they don't have enough for an ending and stuff like that, it's gonna depend. But yeah. it's gonna be ending on chapter. Well, okay, well, so technically the next article, if not linked to this very much. Is Berserk will reportedly end with chapter 364. That doesn't mean it's going to get an actual ending, though. It just means it's going to be done there. Well, I mean, I think they'll probably... Well, what does the article say? Um, this is the last one that he worked on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't think this is going to actually end the story. Probably Plus, not. there's really nothing they could do to end the story. Like... There's no way they could well, cram. Just the moon child, so. Yeah, there's like no way they could cram everything together to finish it. There's like question. There's like you have to have Casca's story resolved with guts. You have to have Griffith's story resolved with yeah. guts. You have to explain the Skull Knights like whole thing, and uh, we're probably just gonna get more like Skull Knight stuff. Yeah, I mean, I don't think, like you said, I actually don't think it's gonna end with this chapter i can't see them cramming a half-hearted chapter yeah ending. especially now it's on like berserk yeah the, the only thing that they could the only options i see is either the assistants um want to finish it and they feel like he would want them to finish it and then they continue it although like the art style is probably going to change and stuff like that so it'll be a little bit different but i don't know i know a lot of 
No, I won't. There's going to be a TV. Just watch. <laughs> TV. Just watch. That would watch. be kind of insane if they just told the rest of the story like he had it all planned out. Yeah. But they just told it in TV no, style. No, it's been TV, but he becomes a high school slice of life. Guts just has this like little chibi head and this massive sword. Griffin Senpai, let's go. Oh my goodness. Oh, heck no. <laughs> I mean, I know a lot of people that can mimic the Berserk art really well. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure I don't know his can... own editors could probably mimic the Berserk art. Yeah. Like, it would well. probably look close, but it still just wouldn't quite be the same. It wouldn't be the no, same. No, I mean, it wouldn't be the same like any art. But yeah. I mean, the average person that's just going to be reading through the manga is not gonna notice. I, mean, gonna I think they'll they're gonna get a chapter 364 and they're gonna get 365 and I was gonna burst in tears and they're gonna know this is the day he died and they're like oh no. You know what I, you, you are right they are gonna notice but I don't think it's gonna it's be not, jarring. Yeah like they would That's still what keep I'm like to the say. same yeah. kind of art style to yeah. make it look the same it would definitely be different and so I feel like people would be very skeptical of it too. Yeah. But um, if they wanted to and if like he wanted them to it would be cool for them to finish it but I don't really expect them. It'd be to. cool if they like instead of finishing it, leave it where it's at, but and, and like take other ideas that he's had. That's true. Too, and yeah. like do spin-offs on that. Like uh, he was saying about maybe instead of this happening, this will happen. Yeah. And, like, do that. I think that'd be. It would cooler. be interesting. Like or like they did a story in the future of the world and then yeah. just had like references to how the story ended or whatever. Yeah. They could even leave it like a mystery where you don't know exactly what happened or well, just like rumors of this clash between guts and Griffith or something. And then, but it's way in the future, and like nobody knows what actually happened. What's that quote like, from that Bacchino? could be interesting? Oh yeah, where like it's not how the story ends, it's, but how yeah. it was told. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's like um, red versus blue. Like the I, I me personally, I kind of see it as the last uh, good uh, season, but I think it was like season fourteen where uh, that was the last Cena. good season. I think so. Yeah, where he where Church died. Like, actually... He died in 14? I thought he died a lot earlier than that. It was 14 or 13 or 14. I thought it was, like, when 10. When AI gets wiped out? Yeah. Because then 15 is, like, where they go off on the spin stories for... Yeah, where they go for the freelancers and stuff. Well, it's more like it's about the uh, two freelancers, Felix yeah. and the other guy. Yeah, and I didn't like that one as much. I thought it was pretty cool, because you gotta learn about the other characters. It was different. But... It was cool. I just didn't like it as much. That's true. And then at 16, it comes back into the main story. And yeah. I don't didn't get past 16. But like in that one, when the main character dies, like mm-hmm. basically the video, the show ends where he dies, and you don't know anything that happens after that. Like he gives off a monologue because he basically kills himself, so he overpowers the suit. Mm-hmm. That way, uh, they all can use the suits and defeat the enemies, and you don't know what happened after that. Oh, that's cool. Well, I don't like is that in season sixteen when it picked it up, back up. Um, basically, the suits never worked again after he died. I don't yeah. really like that because mm-hmm. he gave his life for basically nothing. Yeah. Is how I see it. Uh, yeah. Which is kind of why I stopped watching it. But um, they mention it, but like, they don't say exactly that. I'm like, man, that fight was so hard. And then we didn't even use the suits afterwards. So. Mm. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Like, I think in most cases it's better to like show the fight and show what happens because it's like the most interesting part. I don't know. I think but that a lot of stuff can, if you do it right, it's... If you do do it right, some then, stuff is cool especially in this it. specific case where it's like, yeah. it's not going to be finished. So if they did something like that and then alluded to it and gave you just, like, references of this is what's happening or whatever. Plus, they could continue the story with, like, you know, with new characters in the future yeah. or whatever. And it wouldn't be, like, if That's this failed and everybody hated it, yeah. <laughs> like, it can be, like, poor to me. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Baruto is on, like, episode... son. <laughs> Baruto was, like, on episode 200, so something went right there. If it's butts versus Biffin. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, if they did something like that... Introducing Buck. Yeah. Buck. <laughs> I am Buck. I'm, I'm son of I'm Guts. Buck. No, Buck. No, son of Puck. Oh, no, son of Biffin. Son of Griffin. <laughs> And but son of guts. <laughs> so then they can just be like, oh my goodness. And then they can go so far and see like, oh, everybody hates this, you know. We're not going to yeah. consider this like part of the story. Or they could be like, everyone likes this. And then the very next chapter, they just go to this like old nursing home and there's like, Griffith and Guts are both in the nursing home. And they're just <laughs> they're like, like hey, against each other. Yeah, they're like, you just see a sword go flying through the nursing home. 
<laughs> like, ew, it's so good to see you. Let me tell you this story about how... <laughs> no, Griffin. If they pull, if they pull the, the Black Ops 2 story, I'm not for it. Like, no. Like, oh, shit, this is my old friend. He was in the war with me. Let me tell you this story about how he murdered our entire group and raped your mother. Let me tell you about that. <laughs> You that's that that's a lot that's what they will do they will like get the story find out where people are like this is actually good then just go straight into that chapter and end the series Griffin <laughs> raped Guts's wife yes yeah <laughs> um, <laughs> hold on is you didn't know that? No, no. That's like a huge <laughs> thing. Like a huge I don't know much about it. Okay. Like, I, I know the guy died and there was a basically guy. yeah the eclipse so it, everything so the start of the story happens after the eclipse, yeah. but like the 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 so the second arc goes through Guts's life up to yeah. the eclipse, and he like joins Griffith's crew, yeah. and then they all go on like they're all this like crew of mercenaries basically, mm-hmm. and so they're manipulating their way for Griffith's gold to become a king of a kingdom, mm-hmm. and um so they're like doing all these things. Eventually, uh, Griffith, um goes to the one goes to a kingdom house and he sleeps with the guys with the king's daughter yeah and so he gets really mad at him and eventually and he like puts him in chains and just like tortures him yep. non-stop for like two years this is right before right before this guts leaves him and mm-hmm. goes on like his own mission comes back because he wants to he didn't want to be underneath griffith he wanted to be equal to griffith yeah and so they had like this cool friendship thing going on he comes back griffith is like chained in there so they're like we can go save them with guts so guts goes down there they save him but like they cut all the tendons in his arms like he just can't move and can't do anything mm-hmm. Well, he was messed up. He's got the behelot, which allows him to summon the god hand, mm-hmm. which will give you, like, demonic power in exchange for a sacrifice. And so his group is the band of the hawk, and all of his friends just saved him. He proceeds to sacrifice everybody and becomes the n- Not next only member. That. Usually they just get demonic power. Mm-hmm. He has, like, a special behelot that lets him become another god hand. Yeah. And so he was, like, kind of fated and destined. And the God Hand is, like, these five super evil demons Mm. that, like, rule over the other demons. And they, like, give people the power when they have behelots and stuff. So after he does that and summons all these demons and it kills, like, all of them. Mm -hmm. um, And it brands them and then the demons come and kill them. Um, He also rapes Casca, who is... Guts' his girlfriend in front of Guts. Yeah, like, and then, that was messed up. Um, Guts gets bitten by a demon and has to cut off his arm. Yep. And then, uh, and so that's why he has like the one uh, like mechanical arm that like shoots a rocket. Mm-hmm. But then he gets saved by Skull Knight, him and Casca do. But um, everyone else gets horrifically murdered in front of his eyes. You thought your wife's first time was gonna be with you. Well, wrong. It was with me. No, it was actually Griffin. with Guts. Oh, oh no, that, yeah. that was Dang a, it. that was the thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which is why there's a theory with the Moon Child mm-hmm. that the Moon Child is actually Guts and. Um, there. Yeah. There is a thing about that. There's yeah. There's some weird I was things because JoJo. Reference. Also, how it how demons reproduce in the world is yeah. they rape and then the demon. First so like most of, most uh, demon things. Yeah, yeah. So, that it's a happy fantasy. It is a happy fantasy. Like Goblin Slayer. It's, it's, I suggest anybody watch. The, it's not quite like Made in Abyss. Not quite Made in Abyss. Not level. quite. Not quite as happy as Made in Abyss. Okay. But uh, you know, it's definitely more mature. Like the characters are more adult. Although Puck is just a little ray of sunshine. They, they should just do the rest of the spinoff about Puck. That'd be amazing. No, just, just, just all Buck. Puck. Yeah, Puck and Buck, father and son. <laughs> just like they randomly throw in this one fairy, like female version one that like Puck falls in love with. Yes, Puck and Luck. Puck, Luck and Buck. Buck. <laughs> and then just this little family sitcom thing. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be amazing. They're yeah. just like hanging out during this epic battle between Guts and Griffith, where he's like, "I hate you," and they're just like, "We're gonna have tea." <laughs> yeah, can you pass the popcorn? Yeah. <laughs> Of course, Buck. Here you go. In all honesty, though, I don't think, um, I think Berserk is too fragile 
and just too in depth to really try to continue in any meaningful way without the original yeah. creator. So I kind of hope that they just end it at um, the next chapter. I feel like they will. More than likely. I feel like if they do continue, it's probably more of like the company that's like, we're making a lot of money yeah. off of this. They might I mean, anybody that is dedicated to Berserk, read the Berserk manga, and like is actually dedicated to the point where he they read whenever he releases a chapter or whenever he did release a chapter yeah. is going to understand that the guy died. Yeah. They're not going to get the story they want mm-hmm. out of what they're reading. Oh, I mean, the guy died. I didn't finish the manga. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've known some people like that. Yeah. They're yeah. just like, what do you mean the guy's dead? I wanted to see the end of the story. Take him out from the grave and make him write more. <laughs> it's like, uh... Nothing we can do. That's life. Yeah, like especially Berserk is such a personal story for it like, is. the creator. He like poured someone. It's like yeah. if someone tried to finish Evangelion. When I was Kitaki just Ano thinking died. the same thing. Like it would be like that. Yeah, like wow. Like, like trying to think of that. That would be insane. such a unique like take and look yeah, at everything exactly. that like no one could really kind of try to replicate it. Unless he literally wrote down every single thought he had about the series yeah. while he was doing it, That's possible. there's no way. If he wrote down, like, the rest of the story, if he had all of that, like, planned out, I could see them finishing it. I, it probably, you know, it wouldn't be as good, it wouldn't have as much, like, emotional impact if he wrote it himself, but they could still, like, finish the story. I could see them doing that. Do you think he has a full storyboard? I mean... I don't know. Disney, well, Disney had, like, the next seven or so movies scripted. I think, yeah, but that's one. Yeah. That's like a movie. This that's not. Fair. I, that's fair. I feel like this guy didn't. I feel like he wrote it. That's kind of how I like, get like knowing he what he's about. I'm pretty sure he did because there's like diff- two, there's two different kinds of writers. There's ones that like plan the story out. Yeah. And then they like meticulously go through their plan and like fix everything. And then they write it out like by that outline. And then there's people that just write, that they just sit down, start writing, and they make a story. Yeah. And both ways works. Usually, if you just sit down and write and make a story, you have more editing to do. But like uh, Stephen King, he just writes. Yeah. He doesn't plan anything. Well, out. he doesn't just write. He's usually like on heavy drugs, or at least was. <laughs> yeah. Like he doesn't remember writing um, Pet Cemetery. <laughs> Let's be honest. You can't plan too much when you're playing Idle Man Master. <laughs> That's, That's true. true. But like I started getting into Ark Knights. And there's a lot of famous writers that just manager for me. don't do any planning and they just sit down and write. And I feel like that's what Kentaro Maria's thing was. Yeah. yeah. I feel like he didn't plan. Which is cool. Like it he might have... he probably had an idea for the, yeah. the overall story, but he didn't like sit but down. But he didn't write it in a notebook somewhere. Yeah. I'm probably. guessing. If he did, then sure, go ahead and finish it. Otherwise, well, it be like a storyboard for some love com written by him somewhere. And they really say, like, well, he almost wrote. <laughs> yeah. They get so confused, so distraught that they release it, thinking it's the ending of Berserk. And it's like, sorry, guys, we thought it was connected. You know what he's been doing? <laughs> he's been writing all the Idol Master oh doujinshis. That's what he's been doing. Hang on a second, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I have to see research. if our style matches all the yeah. research. That's a lot of shit. <laughs> Especially <laughs> on that piece right there. <laughs> so, anyways. I don't know. I feel like it. most likely it's going to end with the next chapter. That's the last one he worked on. Yeah. And it'll be fine. But I feel like this story's never going to end. How many chapters does it have? 360. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we just, yeah. yeah, we just said that. Never mind. I'm gonna try reading it. Yeah. Yeah. So I could. You know what else has turned sixty-four? What? Turn sixty-four days of the year. Oh my goodness. You got one page, one chapter a year. That's not bad. There you go. Yeah. One chapter a day. Boom. You'll be done. There you go. Cool. Yeah, been going right. on for 30 years, and it has 364 chapters. That's so, not bad. Meanwhile, One Piece has been going on for 20 years, and has 1,000. <laughs> oh, yeah. Put it in that perspective, it's it's big. But, yeah. Now, next topic. Next topic. Uh, Arma 3 footage being used in news report about Afghanistan airstrike. To be specific, this is the Indian news. Yes. No. Yeah, um... Does it say what channel? So it's not like CNN or like Fox News or anything. It is some random 
news report by Republic. 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 Um, I'm not sure. I'm guessing it's just called Republic. I don't know if it's something else. Republic Media Network. And it is very much an Indian site. But yeah, they're just straight up using... Um, it looks like a warthog fighter jet being like pot shotted at by anti air guns. Yeah. In Arma Three, like the guy's just kind of like flying around. If you don't and, know what you're looking at, I can see the confusion. Yeah. But we know what you're looking at. It's kind of obvious. Like you can tell, like the camera's not shaking, like an actual video photographer. You can tell, like the way the bullets are flying and stuff. They're flying too straight. Like, I mean, during the day, as far as I'm aware, during the day. A, a, a guns you can't it's not highlighted like you, there's no. it's not as bright as the only time you see highlighted is when you're using um tracers or when you're in a or during night because yeah. night they were pretty bright too yeah but yeah it's just kind of funny that this news media just didn't know i don't know if they didn't know or they didn't care or they actually couldn't get footage of actual airstrikes they just want a story or they, they just, just wanted, wanted a story, story. yeah but it, it just seems kind of weird that they just picked arma 3 just some guy flying around in an airplane while the other guy's like shooting at him. Yeah. It's, it's weird. It probably just went somebody, hey, can you get me? Uh, no. <laughs> and it's <laughs> probably two friends too, just yeah. like, hey, fly around in an airplane. I'm going to try practicing my anti air gun. And this guy, the people here are just like, we're going to use it. Yeah. It's going to be an airstrike. <laughs> <laughs> so just remember, the next time you record your video game playthrough, it could end up on the news. Yeah. Make a news channel yourself, but like, so, do that smell trade today bombed China using this footage. <laughs> and, you know, you have like a... <laughs> it's just a Godzilla video game. <laughs> well, that one, you sound like a German bomber dropping the atom bomb onto Japan. <laughs> oh, is that in, like, Arma 3? No, I was just putting up a stupid scenario that you could use. Oh, okay. yeah, or, you, you know, German fighter use, 1 did use... You the, just the, use SimCity. You go Sim City and then you're just yes. like tornado, huge storm. God is launching meteorites. <laughs> you're just launching meteorites at the Sim City. <laughs> oh no, the UFOs news. are attacking. Yeah, the roads have been destroyed. See, delete. delete. Oh no, the police station has been abolished. Delete. <laughs> no more roads. Delete. Delete. <laughs> Oh no, there's a riot happening in the streets. Well, there's no more streets. Whoops. <laughs> there's no more houses. Fix that problem. <gasps> Why don't we move our streets? Then we won't have riots in the streets. Breaking news taxes going up. Tax boy. <laughs> you know what? If it was city manager, I think everybody just live in peace and harmony because there would be nothing wrong with the world. Because, like, like you said, the mailbox is broke. Just remove the mailbox. Yep. How do I get bills? You don't. How do I get bills? You don't. <laughs> <gasps> How do I pay my bills? You know. Nice. But we still want your money. Better give it to me yesterday. What? But yeah, that was a weird one-off article that we saw. So that was kind yeah, of Yeah, news sources are becoming like YouTuber clickbait they things are. where they're just like, you won't believe. This video even looks like YouTuber clickbait. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't that know. That ZD meme just like, you won't believe hasty after TV. joins film. Looks like the channel's Hasty TV is what it's called. You're pretty hasty on this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right? <laughs> well, I'm not sure. That's um, another thing news sources do a lot that's, like, really awful, where it's like, this, you know, thing happened in this family and everyone's dead. And then it's like, no. They, like, one person died or something. Yeah. And then they never correct it. No, they never do. They and just, it's like, like leave the, oh, these yeah. people died. All of them. And there's too many people that take the news as straight-up facts. Yeah, instead of doing their own research or waiting for people come out with actual research yeah. yeah and then like one news source will put it out and then all the other news sources are just like well according to this source this is what happened yeah so then it's like oh all of them say the same thing and then you find out later it's like oh that, you know they put this little stop article that's just like oh you know we, we this actually wasn't happened and this happened but okay yeah, yeah. and then moving on and of course like most news sites are like on like one side of the playing field or the other yeah. side of the playing field. So they have to change it towards what side they wanna I mean, produce. Do you ever see well. like a school shooting like happen live or whatever? They they change the numbers like constantly. They're just like fifty dead, one hundred injured, and then yeah. it's just like by the end it's like twenty five or whatever. They like yeah. constantly change the numbers back and forth. Same for like hostage situations and Which all is kinds horrible. Of stuff. They I need to yeah. they need to like need put to the just, news on for that. I don't think they, but they, they should outblow cover it. it. Yeah. I don't think they should cover shootings at all. 
Really? really? They do it. Think about it. I mean, like they're using shootings as a way to get views. Yeah. Me personally, I find that very gross. At least I can see that. Like I definitely, especially when it's live too. Yeah. It's kind of messed up when it's just like we're watching the the video the thing while there's an armed person in there. It's like oh my. Yeah, goodness. that is something that's, that's kind of always up. drove a ro- wrong feeling into me. Like just watching a live murder type of thing. Yeah. Well, in general and stuff like that, a bunch of other people think, oh, so that's how I get famous. Yeah. Yeah. And, just, and they like, say our generation's like totally numb to this stuff since we play video games. Yeah. So I'm numb like, to it because I watch the news. The news. Don't show me it. The news is so awful. It is. Yeah. It's one thing mentioning it like, oh, it shouldn't happen to you. Yeah. Hopefully the families are, you know, make up and all that stuff. But like, to show up live like, oh, there's a guy. He's one tapping a kid right now. Oh, <laughs> there goes another one. Like, it's yeah. gross. It's sickening. It's, yeah, I could see that. That's it's pretty messed I up. Agree. Plus, when they like when their news stories are so all over the place, and then you think about the people that actually are affected by this, like they actually have yeah. someone that's in the building during the hostage situation or whatever, and then yeah. it's just like all the hostages were killed. Oh, we're getting reports that none of the hostages were killed. It's like you're throwing these people through a loop, and you don't even know what you're talking about. That's true. My yeah. talk just got real. Yeah, it did all of a sudden. <laughs> I know. I, I agree with you guys, though. I know. I just really hate news sources. I like, do. No matter what your political views are, news sources are so it's just awful. Gross. On each side. Yeah. Of that. Like, in America, like, when I say each side of the aisle, I mean, like, left and right. Yeah. It's like, there's only two of them. It's just like. news sources are just bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, they, they're... They're so quick to just get this story because it gets them clicks and it gets them money because that's ultimately yeah. what it's about. It makes them money. The worst part of it is a lot of times they'll use children. Yeah. Kids that don't even know what they're talking about. And they'll just use I mean, it's and... used the same thing in YouTube, yeah. but it's just, I feel like they also realize from like YouTube and stuff, from these like people's super clickbaity things, yeah. they're like, oh, we can just over sensationalize these things too. And then that makes it even more. Or just straight up lie to people. You don't need to look for news if you make up your own news. Yeah, that's true. Same same with election stuff where they're just like, this candidate won. And then like two hours later, this candidate actually lost, I guess. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah, right. okay, very cool. Way to jump the gun. Um, I did find a while back a app called um, Ground News. Mm-hmm. And this app... I think it works for the world, like the whole world. I don't think it's just America. But um, basically what it will do is like you can find an article on there. Mm -hmm. You click on the article and it tells you who's covering it and what biased, like what... Because like each channel... Does it show you like different like channels covering the same thing? That's kind of cool. Like I guess the biggest thing is like it'll show like... CNN covered it, yeah. and it'll show like Fox covered it, and then like each side of like, um, each side that has like their own yeah. representative how news they, orga- mm-hmm. organizations, like how many of those news organizations covered the yeah. article. And it'll even show like the different um, titles of each mm-hmm. article yeah. for each side. So like CNN, like going back to like the like a bank robbery, like bank robbery, twenty five dead. Yeah. And then, like, you go over to Fox, and it's just like, bank was blown up by bank robbers. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like, each side has a different, different news article. Yeah. So, you know what I kind of find funny? What? So, Fox used to be its own thing, right? And you could tell that they were Fox. Yeah. The moment they got bought by Disney, you could tell they started deviating towards more like the CNN views. Oh, like trying to copy, like, CNN? You, like, you and could just, tell, like, be different? Instead of being different, like, they started mimicking, like, their views. But then at the same time, like, it feels like. CNN and, Dis- and Fox are not a purposeful war. Like, they're meaning to cause strife against each other so that way they uh, get more views, is that, what it seems like. Uh, that's yeah. a thing, too. That's just, yeah. that's just in news. Like, if they don't have people fighting against yeah. each other, yeah. then it... It's not good for It's them. just no. a bigger version of YouTuber drama. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. YouTubers get into drama because it gets views. Right. Like, it's stupid. It is, yes. Like, they or should just they get be... into drama and then they're like, yeah. I can make views for Well, I don't like is that they're making people think that this is real and that this is actually happening. It's like, you're making people think yeah. things that aren't true. Yeah. It's also, well, when, like, news sources are very biased and then they pretend they're not biased. Yeah. Like, if it's an opinion piece, then it's like, okay, that's yeah. your opinion piece, whatever. That's cool. But well, yeah, like, news article, like, when news like, stations don't say it's an yeah, opinion piece. They're just yeah. like, this they is what it's happened, facts. and it's, yeah. yeah. The, the main, the worst part is just when they lie about things that, like, or they just don't have all the information, and they just take their first source. And yeah. Like, yep. You're seeing that we're going here, it's like, 
I think the thing I find the most disgusting about news things is, especially with like the pandemic we had, mm-hmm. every single news source, I don't care what side it was on, what news source it was, it was saying something different. Yeah. yeah. You couldn't just watch the news and mm-hmm. have a solid answer what to do. Yeah. You had some people say, like, you'd literally have a news article and you'd read it and it's like, okay, I should be wearing my mask right now. Mm-hmm. And then 20 minutes later, you'd read a different news article, yeah. sometimes even from the same company. Yeah. It's like, you can take your mask it's off like, now. New mandate, it's do, just this, like, do this, yeah. do this. Okay, I get that it's a brand new thing, but news companies also need to slow yeah. down just a little bit. It's also bit. the government not <laughs> being the best yeah. at uh, logistics. You mean Mr. Fauci? <laughs> yeah. He's the best, he knows everything. <laughs> I think everybody in the organization is confused. Yes. yes. The organization is not all right. Yeah. That's what we're trying to stop the organization. So the moral of this story, don't trust the news. Don't trust the government. Yep. Don't trust the drone that flies over your house. Don't trust the bird. The birds are the drones. On your window looking at you menacingly because he's going to drop a behella in your lap and then you're going to summon it. the god hand. Hey, just remember and sacrifice your family. Don't watch do the that. news because they'll tell you to wear one mask, two masks, three masks, blue <laughs> mask, red mask. <laughs> All right, now that we're done, politics like suck. getting rid of like our politics thing. I mean, we went what forty-eight episodes without really getting into politics. Yeah, so I we guess just, we can do a politic, yeah, do a rant politic thing. Politic dump. I hate politics. I do too. I do as well. Unfortunately. I work next to many people that are heavily <laughs> <Yeah>. into politics. <laughs> so do I, but I'm a libertarian. I think that I should be able to shoot up cocaine while, some, while I shoot someone that's breaking my house. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. Well, anyways, um, before we lose every single viewer that we have, JoJo Bizarre Adventure. JoJo. Don't, remember, don't forget you can cancel Pyrolis on Twitter at Pyrolis. You can cancel me. Hashtag cancel oh, me. Yeah. Please go for it. I want to see that. That'd be kind of funny. Unless you're totally okay with it. Don't cancel him just to cancel him. Uh-huh. Unless you want that. No, <gasps> no. Definitely cancel him just to cancel him. Yeah, mean, it's you know, it's more mind. people looking at you. I feel like certain people get canceled just to get more uh, traction. Probably. Which so. is another thing that sucks about the news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Jojo. Jojo. All press is good press. Bizarre Adventure. Stone Rain. Sorry, Stone, Stone Ocean. Ocean. That's a little more than rain, but. Yeah. Two release on Netflix this year. Yes. But not only two release on Netflix this year, it will be released supposedly before it's even released on television. Yeah. So we talked about this already once <gasps> because they announced it. First, the Japs usually get the up on us on what's going on, but now we're going to get the ups on the Japs. This is amazing. This I is extremely they weird. In Japan. Oh. They do have Netflix in Japan. Never mind. <laughs> but um, yeah, I noticed that too. I'm pretty sure. Netflix was like, JoJo's popular. JoJo's gonna make us a bajillion dollars. Oh, actually, we're gonna give PM. we're gonna give JoJo a bajillion dollars. Yeah. Yeah. How much did they pay for the right? I don't know. Probably I mean, they already really technically lot. had the right because they have all the JoJo's. They still have to like get the license, I think, for each individual one. I would hope so. So yeah, they especially like to have this. It's basically an exclusive on Netflix. Apparently, Netflix is also making a live action Pokemon movie. I saw. Yeah, it was from yeah, too far. They, they probably are gonna make that in like ten years, just like the Cowboy Bebop thing. Yeah. So um, yeah, new. So it's interesting that it's coming out first on Netflix. So the thing is, is it coming all out at once? Yeah. Or is it gonna be episodes? I don't know. I feel like it'll come out all at once. You know what? We'll find out after these messages. After ad time. It's break time. Ad time. time. Ad time. And welcome back from the break. Hope ad time was very successful. How should we make an ad time boom? Two cents. Two cents? Two cents. Oh. Yes, we, we, we got two firstborn children. Another oh. son. Wait a minute. I was thinking like nuclear son, not... Oh, no, I haven't done that yet. Oh, okay. Although, I did have a bunch of friends ask me a new car server. I was about to say, like, you were talking about weird. a different kind of boom there, boom. I was. Yeah. I like New King stuff. No, I'm talking about the kid thing. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that took so, me too long to get. That's fine. 
now that we're back in here, um, let's see. Earlier we were discussing something that we felt should be reserved for this, and your notifications are still on someone. It wasn't Google. me. My laptop's off. It probably was me. I muted it. I'm getting All right. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he unmute it? We were talking about... Don't um, know. We were JoJo. talking about JoJo. And you were just right in the middle of a sentence. And I stopped. Just... I finished the sentence. Oh, did you? Yeah. I was just like, uh, are they going to dump it all or just do it weekly? Dump it all. That's what Netflix does. Probably. I mean, if they sense. did weekly, they wouldn't be Netflix anymore. If they did weekly, it wouldn't come out before the one in Japan. They dump it around. No. Like, that would be weird. If they were on, like, episode 22 or something, and then the, and then the, the, yeah. the series was on episode, like, 15 or whatever. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's all I get. Yeah. I don't know. It is... It's weird. Weird times. Weird I mean, times. video game footage is being used. Berserk is ending without it ending. And Netflix is putting up TV shows before they even air on TV. And Netflix is making movies before they're even made and announcing them. Yes. Yep. And then totally changing the director five <laughs> yeah. times. We got the new anime genre. I cannot believe it's not anti- that was an old thing. That yeah, is such an old, old thing. thing. It's a year old. You have Isaka, you have Interspecies Reviewers, you have Redo of Healer, you have so many more. I mean, there's more the that came way out to since the Demon Lord. Yeah, like... Imagine the new way anime is going now. Yeah. I'll stick with my Fire Force, which has enough fan service in it. Thank we'll you just wait until next season. Next I'll just season. I'll stick with my quality shows like monster. monster old shows yeah now other than that earlier we were just we decided to monetize this our speaking on our first animes we kind of right. glossed over this topic before but not really gotten into depth on it that is true so um yeah i cut you off earlier on what you were saying want to get back to what you were talking about earlier five hours ago yes Sure, I could try to remember what I was talking about. Good. Go. Uh, yeah. All right. So <laughs> I, I'm a, one of the reasons why I've always been a pirate my entire life, and it's kind of given me a benefit on it. Um, as a kid, I didn't have internet, which is first and foremost reason why I pirated anime. Because yeah. a kid like me don't really have much money to buy a bunch of discs. First. What do you foremost. mean by kid? Like, I mean, how like old were you? 12 to 13. Okay, you started watching anime way before I did that. Yeah, I pirated anime like 12 to 13. Okay. My first anime was Inuyasha. Then after that, I went G Gundam. Then it was Riddle Story of a, De- of a Devil. Yeah. If you, anyone knows what that anime is, feel free to let me know if you do, because that's like such a niche anime. I'm not sure if that's really... I've one. heard of it. Have you? Yeah. Huh. Yep. Never watched it, but I've heard of it. And then, and then after that was a high school, DD. Then it goes Okasama gets to catch you. That's another one that if anyone knows, <laughs> don't tell me about it. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, you know, and then it goes from there, and then eventually it, I just went down the hole after that. You know, it's really bad that half your anime list you can't watch in the state of Texas. <laughs> no, that's only our manga sense, eh? <laughs> I think. Wait a minute. It has only Arrow Manga Sensei. Yeah. And it's only because Texas is, you know, too strict about stuff. Yeah. Until I did hear, years. um, I think it's Arkansas's banning, um, pornographic images on phones. Nice. So that's gonna be interesting. I don't know how that's gonna that, work, that's, but alright. I don't think that's possible, but okay. Yeah. If it's on the computer, it's alright, but if it's on the phone, you oh, get caught, no, no. you're going to jail. Yeah, the officer's just like, I'm pulling you over, and let me see your phone browser history. Mm-hmm. Do you Did have a you VPN, use... sir? <laughs> Did you use NordVPN? No. It's like, I'm going to go talk. I'm going to go find your service provider real quick and get all your information. I mean, there's so much stuff that we qualified for that, though. Like, you can watch Game of Thrones on Netflix on your com- on your TV, not on your <laughs> not phone. Your phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they don't consider that pornography. How's that not pornography? I don't know. That's like, 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 how is it not hentai? I mean, that's fair. But, like, I still consider hentai. Like, low-key. Yeah. 
I, I don't know. I honestly don't know how shows like Game of Thrones is just not straight up pornography. Yeah, and then other people get yelled at. Maybe it's like the sex scenes to like actual story content ratio. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I've seen some hentai that had like a one minute sex scene. And a whole lot better story. story yeah, so it's like it has less than Game of Thrones. I think so... that's just an anime at that point. No, it wasn't an anime. You can't find it on an anime. No, you can't. Are you looking for it now? No. Okay, as I was saying, if you're going to want to go to um, <laughs> New Taku, there's one of them. Yeah, I've seen New Taku sponsored uh, Next Taku before. Okay, that's good. Yeah. That's good. He knows the sources. Interesting. Knows the sources. Okay. They have, yeah. And he. His so, yeah, you. To do with it you had no internet when I you were no in the lab. Yep, I started pirating. I'm still a pirate of the Seven Seas yeah. today. Uh it was pretty enjoyable. Yeah. Like I don't know. I ever since uh. 12, so you've been into seven. anime since you since you started watching it, then, right? Basically, um, I mainly got into manga. I actually started out anime because <laughs> I saw the first episode of Sword Online Abridged. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's how that's it started. What, that's how it started. <laughs> oh my so god. So I watched that, then I found Inuyasha somehow. Yeah. And instead of watching, so yeah. I watched the Sword Art Online Abridged. <laughs> instead of watching Sword Art, I went to Inuyasha, <laughs> yeah. which is a show from like the nineties. <laughs> Then I went to Probably Gundam. a better choice. <laughs> Eventually, I did get, make my way to Sword Art Online, yeah. but that was like after like 10 other animes. You know what's funny? That's um, funny. I started watching anime like as soon as I got a job because I was yeah. basically the same way. I had no internet, but I was also that kid that had no internet access mm-hmm. and I didn't have a laptop of my own. So once I got a job, I had everything happen all at once. I got an internet access, I got a laptop, I got a cell phone. So, boom, the internet was open to me. And that's yeah. where your name came from. Sure. Boom. My mind just exploded. Yes. And I became the Lord you, of the Big Bang. You just, yeah, you just like got all your stuff and you're just like, boom, wait a second. I'm I can boom. use this. <laughs> it's like the Iron Man scene. I'm just forging the internet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> boom. <laughs> but, yeah, so as soon as I got that, I was... We got Netflix, of course, yeah. because we wanted to watch movies. And then I saw a friend of mine when we were really young. He just like offhandedly said something about Full Metal Alchemist, right? Mm-hmm. He said it was a Japanese show and all that. And in my head, as a little kid, because I was like 12, you're thinking Power Rangers. I was basically thinking Power Rangers. Yeah, I was thinking like <laughs> cheesy, like <laughs> Japanese actors, like doing a fantasy show, right? Yeah. And then I see it on Netflix. I'm like, wait a second. This is cartoons. I like cartoons. Mm-hmm. I start watching it and realize it was not cartoons. And then the first, like... Did you watch the original Full Metal Alchemist? I watched first? the original. Okay. I watched so, Brotherhood. Yeah. And then I watched the movie. The first in episode. Two days. The first, like, couple episodes <laughs> of Full Metal Alchemist are just like, here is, like, philosophy on yeah. the values of religion. You're like, oh, this is different. <laughs> also, um, of course, everybody on this podcast probably knows I have like dyslexia and stuff, so yeah. I have a hard time reading. I didn't know how to switch subtitles on um, Netflix. Mm-hmm. I didn't know how to switch the audio language on Netflix either. Mm-hmm. So I watched the first six episodes in Japanese. About quit it because I was tired of reading, and I saw I had like 50-some episodes. <laughs> so I about quit it, and then I figured out how to switch the subtitles to English. Then he started watching it. In Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> or not the like, yes, I switched Spanish. the audio to English, and I was like, oh, much better. So, I almost... The dub of Full Metal Alchemist is very good. It is really good. After that, I watched... Um, I watched... Death Note. Mm-hmm. So, I watched, like, the two biggest wow. animes ever. And then I watched Gurren Lagann. Yeah. And I was like, well, this is cool. It's got a lot of weird fan service in it. And then I watched um, Kill a Kill. I'm gonna be real. In high school, I didn't know too many people watched anime. I didn't know people other than me knew of his existence at my school. I thought it was, like, I was young enough at that point, and I just got internet mm-hmm. access. So, like, I thought it was just something that people watched, because it was on Netflix. Yeah. I was just like, oh, this is just, like, a cartoon that people watch. Like, it was like, mm-hmm. I considered it kind of like a Simpsons show. Yeah. Like, a Japanese adult cartoon. I was like, okay, mm-hmm. this is cool. And then I realized what anime actually was. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is something totally different than I've ever seen before. Yeah, I didn't have any of that. I was like, went to school. No one talked about it. No one said nothing. I get yeah. home and I'm like, 
you get to watch some stuff I downloaded at school on the school Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> I had like a 12 gigabyte uh, SD card. Between that, I downloaded anime and manga. Mm-hmm. That's how you got big into manga. Manga was a lot easier for me to read. That's funny. Yeah, easier to download yeah. too. Well, yeah, because I didn't like watching. My phone was like itty bitty and tiny. Yeah. And I didn't like uh, reading manga was one thing because I could zoom in. But watching mm-hmm. anime on that was a pain. Yeah. So I just moved it to my my Windows right. XP. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah I drag it over. Like, my original anime is still weird. on my XP. Yeah. Yeah, I got my original animes on my XP, not That's gonna lie. I do remember after I got done watching, like, those several animes, I got bored of anime, actually. Yeah. I actually got bored of watching movies and stuff, and I was, I was really big into playing video games. Okay. So I kind of just went back to playing video games all the time. Yeah. And I quit anime and watching stuff for probably, like, a year, year and a half. And then we are going to Comic-Con. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to get all the cool, like, video game merch and see all the cool video game yeah. stuff there. And we're driving down the road. I'm driving, and a friend of mine is sitting, or a friend of mine's girlfriend is sitting next to me. Mm-hmm. And she's trying to put music on, and she just starts playing Japanese music. And I'm like, what the heck is this? Wait, crap, what is this? <laughs> and she explains it's Japanese, like, anime openings and yeah. stuff like that. I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. So we get to anime. Or not, not we get to anime. anime. We get to Comic-Con. And she finds out, um, because my friend's girlfriend was huge in the anime, Mm -hmm. she finds out they have an anime room there. Mm -hmm. So she forces all of us to go into the anime room and sit down and watch anime. Like the first episode of a random anime they were playing. And of course, they were playing Sword Art Online. Yeah. The first episode. So I watched that, and I'm like, oh, this is kind of cool. So I go home after the Comic-Con, and I binge Sword Art Online in like a day. And there, I was back in the anime. Nice. I, manga has always been constant for me. Yeah. I have switched between playing video games or watching anime, depending on how invested I am. Yeah. Because usually now, especially recently, I've been getting a lot of my anime from my manga. So if I'm reading manga and I find it's got an anime and I really like the manga, I'll start watching that. Yeah. Um, that's mainly how I did it. Um, Tuesdays and Winded Anime Night. That was mainly my uh, biggest exposure to anime. Okay. Because I mainly read manga and on that play video games. Yeah. Because more of a, a manga reader yeah. and an anime enjoyer yeah that makes sense a lot of people are that way like especially manga fans yeah where i'm kind of like the opposite i yeah. love anime like i've gotten into anime so much where i really don't play video games anymore because mm-hmm. so i'd rather sit down and watch a show than like sit at my computer and just like grind a game or something like that yeah. but then i also have my whole bookshelf of manga that i just like periodically we'll just read a chapter or two of yeah where i just enjoy manga yeah i feel like i like anime a little bit more than manga you're like right on that like line yeah i feel like like it really depends but i feel like i like anime more i tend to enjoy it more and focus on watching it more but i can get through manga way faster that see that's one problem or that's one advantage you two have over me. Yeah. Because, like, I even have a problem watching anime that's only subbed. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I really have a problem reading, like, quickly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's my biggest problem. Like, I can read it. I can read just fine. But reading quickly is a problem for me. So if I read manga or if I'm watching subtitles, it's slow. It's slower than most people. Like, you guys could read a manga volume in, what, probably, like, three hours? In a volume? I could read it in an hour. Yeah, I could an hour. Read it in about an hour. And see, it would take me probably about three hours to read a volume. Yeah. Depends um, on the how much uh, dialogue's in it. Yeah. yeah. Like, heavy dialogue, it'd probably take me about three hours. Also depends if it's in a book. I can read it faster than if it's on my phone. Really? I, I can read it hate, faster on my phone. I, I can read it faster on my phone. phone. I hate reading on my phone. I can't huh. stand it. It drives me nuts. It's too small. I can't look at the art very well. I zoom in. I love looking at that. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, like, like I, I was showing you earlier. Like sometimes I'll zoom in, but it's just I don't know. It's just a it's not the same thing than like pulling out a manga. Like just looking at a book, and I can just look at the art and everything, and then I can just like get through it. I can yeah. focus on the story I think better. You guys too. are also used to reading from an actual book. Yeah, that's true. I've always yeah. been used to not having enough money to buy a book. Yeah. Right now, so I've just always used my phone to. That's like, true too. I've never really read actual much novels book. and manga. I just read all from my phone. Yeah, same. Like when I was young. I was very much into like going to the library. Yeah. So I just rent books and read books. Yeah. So I was never really able to do that. But we just as soon as I hit twelve, that's when my reading spiked. 
<laughs> See, it was weird for me reading. I was huge into reading between the ages of like eight and like 14. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden I got a job. And like, I don't know if it's because I stopped reading, but like, I just have such a hard time reading. Okay. Like, yeah. it seemed like my dyslexia got worse after I stopped reading, which is weird. The only reason I was able to get my stuff is because I started working uh, at a barn sale that was about down the road. Oh, yeah. So as soon as I hit 12, I put myself to work. Yeah, and I got my XP from him. Yeah, it was an old Windows XP he had. I got that, and I got a big 30 inch RCA TV. Yeah. That I uh, put in my room, and I took my XP up to that. <laughs> so that, that was what I did everything on. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot better than I had. I had a laptop for a long time until I was finally able to get a computer, so... I had... So the Windows XP was technically a gaming computer? Yeah. A Windows that's why I meant, like, get a gaming computer, Yeah. So. It didn't really run games too well, and it had 80 gigabytes of space. Oh, yeah, I remember XP. that. Yeah. I love it. I still have it. It's in storage right now. That's cool. That's amazing. How about you, Weez? How did you get into anime? I got into anime when Boom and Wolf and... Uh, Robin Cat? Yeah, mostly Boom and Wolf. Usernames? We're talking about Death Note. And I was just like, you're talking about the potato chip scene, too. Yeah. And I was just like, I showed you the potato chip scene. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I was like, watch this funny clip. And then I was like, I don't want to be left out for my friends. And then I oh. watched the show. <laughs> Peer pressure is amazing. Peer pressure is amazing. Look what Which is funny because. The other thing that got me into anime is the year after you went with. Uh, your friend and your girlfriend. Yeah. You the next year you went with me and that friend and yes, his yes. girlfriend, and then she played anime songs again and she played the opening to Noragami, which made me really want to get into anime. Also, just going to Comic Con because it's just like anime stuff everywhere and it's like yeah, that definitely I don't want to well. know what I'm looking at because what <laughs> yeah. is Noragami your favorite? Because it's what got you yes. into uh, anime? that. It, it's part of it. Also, just I watched. The first thing I, I watched Death Note, I watched, I think we watched Death Note One Punch Man. I'm not sure which one I watched first. But watched I watched Death Note first. I watched him around this. Yeah, I did watch Death Note first, and then I went to your house and we watched One Punch Man. Yep. After that, you watched. We watched Noragami. Yes, we watched Noragami, but then after that, you got into like this and, huge binge where you watched like Re Zero. Yeah, and I liked Noragami more than Death Note. Yeah. That was actually how me and him became friends because we went to youth group together. That's and we just true. made a bunch of you, three zero quotes all yeah. to each other. I don't know how it came up that maybe it's just because you talked about it nonstop at that time. But like only to you though. Something I don't know yeah, came up, but like <laughs> something happened, something with, happened with us knowing that each other watched ReZero, which is like the most random thing ever because I watched it like a little bit before that or something and then it was like maybe it was because i was doing something like going victory i think that was it i would do that a lot yeah like you you, you want a game you're like victory, yeah. victory. <gasps> victory. <laughs> that's funny you yeah know, that's probably how it started those conversations i find are really weird because like the other day the other week i was working with my new boss right mm-hmm. and we're working together on the same workbench and i don't know how it happened But all of a sudden, I find myself talking about anime with him. (laughs) And this guy is like, he has a son my age. Oh my goodness. So it's not like some young dude or anything like my age. Like This guy could be my dad, literally. Yeah. And he's just talking anime with me. I'm like, how did I get here? What have you seen? He's seen um, Seven Deadly Sins. Dang. He's seen One Punch Man. Uh, shows like the Godzilla show on Netflix. Okay, yeah. That so he sense. mainly watches net like Netflix anime. That makes like, sense. But like Seven Deadly Sins weird. is kind of like more obscure. Like I and understand it's like got One a Punch lot Man. Of anime stuff. It, yeah, like, it's severely like fan that's service. That's funny. And, yeah. The thing is with Weez, I we only talked about ReZero because yeah. I didn't know what else to talk about them. Because I watched high that's school, true. but we also at youth groups. So I was like, <laughs> I don't think I should be asking. Have you seen that? <laughs> yeah, and I watched. There's no way he would have just randomly watched, started watching that. Either. No. More than likely not, no. I still wouldn't watch it, but ReZero. <laughs> um, Says the man that watched Aramanga Sensei. I did watch Aramanga Sensei, but that's different. I don't know how. I mean, it's it's worse in some ways. It is worse. But it's, it's Actually, not it's as good. bad in other ways. See, I've gone into the like, abyss. It has so... less fan service, 
but the fan service it has is about like children so you know it's kind of got that it makes yeah. me laugh really hard though it, made, jokes it, has. it made me cringe i laughed like twice one was because it referenced like other shows and i was like that's a way better show i just finished watching toradora i think when i watched it and yeah it had yeah. a toradora reference and i was like <gasps> that's great there's also the one piece reference that was funny where the there's just like oh i'm super big into anime too and it's like oh yeah what have you watched it's like one piece it's like oh just the most popular thing ever. And when she's like, you gross weebs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, um, and then the other joke with some of the male characters. Yeah, with Chris. But yeah. otherwise, I found it, I, I just found that I could watch it with my hatred for, um, Sagari. Sagari. Well, it just, like, kept me going. Just, like, hating You're her. You're like Darth Maul. Yeah, he's just, like, quoting the Sith code Maul, just yeah. to get through. My hatred kept me alive. It was a pain. It was it was painful getting through it, but I made it through the twelve episodes. Yeah, and it was just like I gotta watch it. That was like my sixth anime, and it got me out of a dark time. And it was <laughs> cringy to the point where it made me laugh. It was so trash. It was amazing. I mean, I have no room to speak because like my third or fourth anime was Kill a Kill. Yeah. So it's like, I mean, you can't get much worse than that. That's basically like I can't believe it's not hentai. So. <laughs> Yeah, Aerovanga since it was, it was something else. It's really like the fan service and stuff. There's really almost none. Yeah, like, we've we've gone over Aerovanga since. Yeah, I got into the manga. The manga's a lot better. The, yeah. I just I just watched it to get him to watch JoJo. Yeah, yeah. And, and it was it was probably yeah. worth it. And then I got you to watch JoJo. Evangelion because of JoJo. You did get me to watch Evangelion. I'm still on episode four. I can't get past episode and four. And then I, that I led me I to promise. eventually watching Thrice Upon a Time, which I actually liked. Yeah. So how I really amazing. suggest that you watch the rest it's of the It's come rebuilds. full circle. I don't know. I like I like just having watched the last one and nothing else. <laughs> Knowing it's done and over. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. like I watched the last one. I don't know the context, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm trying to watch past episode four. I really am. I promise you, Boom. I am. Hey, anime, <laughs> certain anime just aren't for people. Yeah. I'm also, not saying that even Gellin's for everybody. I'm just saying yeah. no, but I, mean, I think you, I'm it's to do a it. really good anime. And I, I wanna, think it does. I want to respect your wish and do my best to yeah. watch it. Just so. like you think, like... like Air Mind like, is great. Yeah, yeah. 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 Or like you think High School DD is really good. And I yeah. think it's just like a, like a random, pretty like mid-tier anime. Yeah. Like, we all have our different likes and tastes. Like, that's fine. Yeah, it is. I still want to watch it. So, uh, you know, I agree with these tricks. You know, you might honestly like the rebuilds better. You probably would. Like, from what I've seen of the rebuilds, it's, it's much more modern, that too. Means I gotta watch them all, though. Like, the original Evangelion was yeah. just very old and had weird old tropey things in it. What, do you want to start coming over and we could watch Evangelion together? I don't know, I feel like I'd make too much fun of it because I don't know what else to do. Oh, that's fine, I've already seen it. So. Oh, alright, that's fair. That's up to you, man. <laughs> hey, I don't care. If you want to actually watch it, I'll watch it with you again. I like it that much. So. Okay, if you want to do that, we can figure something out. Sure. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to do like a whole weekend long where we just stay up all night watching it. I just need to Five o'clock in the morning. I just need to deal with the devil. Well, you'll, you'll have to watch Wait that. Wait until we get to five o'clock in the morning and episode 24 comes on. And, and it starts yeah. making sense. Five yeah. o'clock in the morning. So we're like, I love this anime. <laughs> That's what happened to him. <laughs> you get to the ending it's like, oh, and you're like, oh, Medito. The penguin is amazing. I love the penguin. He's my favorite character now. Shoot, we haven't seen the penguin for five episodes. It'll just be like those things where you're like writing at night. You wake up in the morning and you're like, what the heck? You're just like, I love this show the next morning. What the heck? Well, I did I that with Fortnite night. once. <laughs> yeah. I was playing Fortnite at like 4 o'clock in the morning with some friends. And they bet me to buy this skin. <laughs> the skin was 20 bucks. I bought it. I woke up the next morning. I'm like, what in the just, world did I just do? Just <laughs> like you'll get a tattoo when you're drunk. Yeah, kind of, but yeah. less permanent. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I just don't play Fortnite anymore. So, there we go. Well, I've spent more on less. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> I don't know, that just reminded me of that, so. Now, All right. it's time for this week's episode of Lucky Channel! Lucky Channel! 
Oh, oh yeah, we had to review that. Though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, we, yeah watched the, that. we watched the fifth episode of Fourth episode. episode. Yep, it's been five weeks. I was very surprised. Sorry, been a month. It has been five weeks. Yeah, that's crazy. It feels like only two. Well, yeah. also, this is the first, like, the second new episode. Yeah. So, that's part of it, too. So, it's a brand I really, new world. I really liked this episode. This episode was great. It was pretty good. I liked it. I liked the new characters. Like, the teacher interacting with the the cop yeah, was pretty great. Yeah, that was pretty great. Like, oh, you're single, too. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's like, oh, you're all alone. It's like, yeah. Married. <laughs> Married. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and it was just like, and she's just like sitting there like, ah, she's the cop's just like, what? <laughs> it's like, we have something in common. Yeah, I'm married. <laughs> so that was great. That I was weird. also like her random thing about thinking like all kids were like, um, Kanata. Yeah, Kanata. Kanata is the blue haired girl's name. Look yes. at us, we're progressing. We, we learned one of their names. So, like, she's, like, all the girls that she's thinking are, like, Konata. And Konata's, like, so much shorter and everything yeah. and just looks like a child. And it's, like, oh, you're here with the older girls. It's, like, these are all in the same grade. <laughs> and then they're, like, oh, you're just so well put together and everything. It's, like, don't compare us to, don't think she's the norm. Well, then she thought the teacher was a child. Yeah. And it's just, like, oh. It's, like, I'm their teacher. It's, like. I'm so sorry. That was great. Bro, she was just playing around while doing her duty. Yeah. And she's like, she gets the rifle. It's like, oh yeah, I'm good. And then she's like, a rifle? I don't really use a pistol. And then she just like, neat. And then she falls out of her hot dog. dog. Yeah. <laughs> and points the boat. It's like, what are you going to do? Go on, That Kimbo was there? great. That's Not gonna lie. So when great. the uh, long haired, purple haired girl got the fish. I was expecting oh, yeah. something awful to happen to the fish, but she was talking <laughs> I about. am still expecting the fish it to die. It might happen later. Like, I could totally I'm going to love that. you and take care of you forever. And I was like, something's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Gopi John. <laughs> it seems like there's a little bit more of a story as it goes on. Like, it, it, it continues the, the narrative more. The story I'm seeing is we skip to a vacation. Yeah. They waste their vacation away. We skip to a scene of school. And the next two episodes is another vacation. <laughs> No, they weren't in. It was. It went to vacation. Then they were in vacation the whole yeah. time, because it was set up in the other episodes that they were like late into summer. Yeah. Because they like switched their outfits or whatever. Yeah. And so then it got to the point where they are in summer break. Yes. But summer break in Japan is like two weeks. Long. I think it's like two or three. I think weeks it's only a week. No, I think it's just a week. I think it's like two or three. Isn't yeah, it? it's like two or three. Because they have like, sometimes they have week breaks, I think, other yeah. times of the year. Yeah, they do. But, um... Well, they have different festivals. And yeah. Stuff they do, so. so anyways, like their summer vacation, and then uh, they also have like a bunch of homework over summer vacation too. But there's like... I mean, um, actually, regular school kids do as well. Yeah. What? 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 Me? what? No, I didn't. You didn't have any homework during no. break? Not during summer break, usually. Really? I think they yeah. do it during other breaks. Depends. But summer Sometimes break... Sometimes the literature teacher would be like, hey, you got a book report yet this break. It's like, oh, thank you. I was just going to say, I had book reports to do throughout the summer. Because summer... Well, you, you were homeschooled. Yeah. So you were a different case. But my parents still, like, see in regular school with me. But in normal school, your teacher changes every time you move up a grade. So there's no point in the teacher giving you something. Yeah. Like in Japan, they have the same homeroom teacher. Oh, they that's reset right. Yeah, everything. you graduate during the spring, right? During the summer. Summer, you move up a grade. So yeah. there's no yeah. point in a teacher giving you something to do over the summer because you're going to get back and you're like, what am I supposed to do this to? That was teacher. True. Like, it was going to great, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's true. So they, so they had that to do, and then... Um, there's <laughs> just like playing games online with their teacher and their teacher's just like, have you been working on here? <laughs> I also like the fan joke where it's just like, it was really hot that day and everyone goes into the fan and they're just like, Nee. And the one goes like, and then she's that. like, I wouldn't do something like that. And then the one guy's just like, but I saw you, this, like the gardener is like, the you're dad, doing, the dad. Yo, the dad, he's like, you're doing this earlier this morning. And he's like, She's like, someone saw me. <laughs> that was great. That was, awesome. that was a good joke. But it's got this weird, quirky kind of humor. Like, it doesn't feel like the jokes are made to be, like, super funny. They're it feels just like a sitcom. Like, yeah. It feels like a sitcom or like a... It feels like what it was originally, where it's like a short... Um, 
the Fort Coma Binge. Yeah. yeah. A Sunday morning like, yeah, cartoon. Yeah, Sunday morning, yeah. Uh, what is or it? comic strip. Comic Sunday, strip, yeah. Sunday it, it feels comic strip. kind of like a comic strip where they just kind of make musings about things and aren't tr- really trying to be like laugh out loud. Funny. Yeah, they're like just, Dilbert. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. They're kind of like that kind of comedy, but they're still like, they still have a weird humor about it because it's not quite that like dry. It's it's got like a I'm liking the humor too. a lot. Like they're it's jokes, really funny. Like there's a lot of jokes that go like really in depth, and like yeah. there's jokes that go throughout the whole episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like the way they do the wordplay jokes are really good. Yeah. Too. How like, the one girl kept on repeating vinegar in her head. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I feel so. kind of vinegar. Because like, <laughs> yeah, it was balsamic vinegar. Yeah. I think it was like yeah balsamic. And then vinegar. at the end, where they're like just about to get off their break, they're doing their homework again, like they're cramming yeah. their homework, yeah. and she writes down balsamic vinegar yeah. as her answer. It's just like, oh. <laughs> and it's like no. such a real thing where you just like hear a word that sounds kind of funny, and then you just like think about it throughout like yeah. the rest of the week. I will have that happen to me all the time at work. Yeah. I will hear on the radio, like, the random word. Like, for some reason, I remember one day, I don't know if it was from the radio or something I was listening to, I heard the word Duramino. Mm. Uh, Duramino? Duramino. Duramino. Yeah. And I had it stuck in my head literally (laughs) all day. Yeah. I couldn't do anything to get out of my head. I would listen to music. I'd listen to podcasts. I'd watch a freaking movie. Yeah. Nothing. It's just those little, like, quirks that it just shows throughout the thing that's just amazing. Yeah. It's a weird I don't get too much stuck in my head. Like, it's stuck in there for, like, a minute, then I can forget about it easily. See, I was just gonna say, I think it shows that we're stuck in the Matrix, but then there's you. Yeah. <laughs> I am the Matrix. So maybe you're, like, one of those uh, men in black guys. I'm not saying nothing about okay. that. Are you gonna shoot at me with the dodge bullets? No, I don't have a dodge bullets. You don't have the glasses. Oh, that's true. I could get the glasses. So you need these glasses right here. Those are regular glasses. No, I had them specially designed by the same guy. You're blind. No, it just it makes you blind when you put them on. Ah, I see. That's how the Sergei yeah. developed them. See, me I and the know that's how that works, because yeah. when I look through them, I can't see anything. Exactly. But he can't see anything without them. No, that's just a lie. That way you believe that it's true. Okay. Oh, dang. I can't hear without my glasses. So are also my hearing aids. Can I just take your glasses then? I won't be able to hear it, but yeah. That's fine. Sign language. I don't know that. Good. You know sign language. You do it all the time. Oh, I do. <laughs> Great on an audio-only podcast. <laughs> yep. No We're adding sign language to this audio-only podcast for deaf people. Yep. You'll be hit last time you practice it now. <laughs> I think the, the noise filter is going to cancel your, all of that. You're welcome. <laughs> um... We should talk about the Lucky Channel. Lucky Channel. And then the, um, this is a good Lucky Channel because she didn't get irritated until the very end. Until <laughs> the very end. <laughs> she had a little bit in between where she yeah. like, that games are worthless on a point of time. Yeah. And then, hey, would you play them? By the end, yeah. He's just like, you should play games. And then he, then the, the show's so meta where she's like, gets angry. And then the guy's like, oh, this is the, you're getting angry at this part instead of like earlier in the show. Yeah. <laughs> like it just, it's so self-referential in that way. The best part, though, was just the karaoke thing at the end, <laughs> where Konata starts singing the Dragon Ball. <laughs> I didn't realize what opening it was. I was just reading the lyrics, and I'm just like, what type of weird song is oh, this? Was so Me and funny. Lisa were just dying over there. Oh, the lyrics goodness. are so weird. Because I could tell it was Dragon Ball right away, and they mentioned, like, oh, this is from a more normy thing, so yeah. we'll know it. And then he just... <laughs> Cousin. Fly away! <laughs> I want to see what other and what the other openings to those songs are that they sing. Yeah, I wonder. I don't know what the other. I think songs one was are. to um Sergeant Frog. Yeah, mm. centimeters high. Huh? They're opening. Oh. <laughs> that Let's go have cherry <laughs> pie. <laughs> They, I, don't know, I love their opening. I do too. One of the karaoke, they just start singing their own opening. And they're like, what is this? What anime is this from? That's <laughs> going to be like the last episode. Probably. Yeah, so that's going to be funny. But no, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. We are episode five away from episode 24. So we There's have... 24 episodes of this? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, let's go. 19, 19 episodes? 19, yeah, 19 go, episodes. baby. Let's go. That's going to bring us into... That's like a few months worth That's of anime. February? I think it's like Look February. how much anime. You see, you don't even have to watch any new stuff. You can just Five go back. by 20 is 4, so we're, it's going to be about 
four uh, months. Yeah, so it's about February. Yeah, because we have October, November, December. Okay, January, February. Depending if we accidentally skip a week or something. Yeah. Or we can also watch two episodes in one if we actually ever get our butts moving and watch two episodes at a time. We could do yeah, that at some point too. But yeah, that was cool. I yeah. enjoyed the episode. Good episode. I enjoyed this good podcast as well. Good podcast episode. And I episode. think That's we should end it here before we ruin it. That's a good idea. All right. So everybody, thank oh, you. Oh, you ruined for, it. Yeah. Thank you for <laughs> watching, everyone. Uh, <laughs> boom. Where can they find you? Find me? Yeah, other than your find... address here at... Beep, 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 podcast um youtube channel that's look behind you also has a youtube channel what youtube but look behind you also has a youtube channel yes where we also have a different podcast as well yeah that's crazy yeah so much stuff so oh much my stuff. goodness i'm surprised i have time to do anything anymore i know wait i don't have time to do anything anymore oh my goodness cool was editing when i got here yeah quick edit the Steinscape playthrough. Oh, heck no. That's going to take a long time, bud. <laughs> so where can they find you at Weezyan? They can find me on YouTube. I'm KBW is my channel name. And I just did a video about Evangelion, and my next video is going to come out about Monster. Subarashi. Does it have spoilers? No. Oh, cool. Well, uh, up to the first, like, four episodes, it's to, like, get you to get hooked into it because it's kind of a slow, interesting start. It's like a very, it's very much of a drama at the start of it. So Just I like can a, watch like the first, like, episode. Yeah. Or like the first video. This basically explains the first, yeah, yeah, you can watch the first video because it'll explain up to like episode four and it's like, this is what hooked me into this story. After like cool. episode four, I was like, <gasps> there was this one manga I was reading, it's called One Nan Monster, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. And I was reading through and like chapter five mm -hmm. or chapter 20 something, the person... The editor accidentally replaced one end monster with monster chapter 25. <laughs> and I'm like, this makes no sense. And then the editor's like, monster, oh! And that's why it makes no sense. It's not supposed to be here! That's funny. So I, I know, like, I know they fight a monster. That's what I, I like. This one guy's got a gun and another guy, like, shoots his hand or something. Oh, I don't dang. really remember. You, you must have, yeah. That's like an, it's probably an important thing happens. Because most of monsters, like, the main character talking to people and like different things like the the monster himself isn't in it very much so yeah, it was getting, a fight scene. getting a chapter with the monster is pretty insane. i was confused i don't know what's going on some lady was on like rollerblades or something i don't know <laughs> what i don't know i don't know i wasn't paying attention closely but, honestly i was yeah. just going through like, i do want to read the manga yeah. because it looks amazing the anyways, was pretty cool though. anyways where can i find you they can find me on twitter at kbw author and yeah that's about it just go find me there yeah Google his name. Google, yeah, Google. I've never Googled you. I don't know what you're Cornelius like. Bivouac Weez. Uh, let me quick Google search. I don't think it comes up if you just put KBW because that's... Yeah, look up Cornelius up Bivouac Weez. Uh, KBW Anime? Somebody else comes up. Let's get that person. Make them not come up anymore. Uh, you can find my book. That shows up eventually. There you go. But anyways, yeah. Just look. Oh my goodness. Did you put KBW out there? I put Wheeze oh. in anime. Just look up Wheeze. You put Wheeze in anime? Up Wheeze yeah. anime. Holy crap. And you brought up your uh, and I come Twitter up eventually. That's KBW insane. author. Also, you're officially in Google Images as a JPEG Holy image. Holy nice. crap. You're an official JPEG. Nice what job. You're famous. Yeah, that's cool. You're that's famous. Insane. Oh, that's from Twitter. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. The step oh my goodness. Here he I'm goes. gonna be famous. I'm already famous. My videos have like, uh, I have like 3,000 views on YouTube. So anyways, I'm super famous, so go board the hype train. Nice! I'm super right at the top. You Dang, are. look at that. The so, heck? So that's yeah, weird. you guys can uh, uh, check me out there and then from Twitter, you can find my other stuff too. And I post 
occasionally interesting things on Twitter. Occasionally. I mainly respond to it. I don't know, I'll go on like a cocaine rampage and like make random tweets that are pretty yeah. weird, I think, when I read back and I'm like, why did I post this? But So, um, do you want me to go over the Baka Talk stuff? Uh, I can okay. You can find us at Talk Baka on Twitter or you can email us at askbakatalk at gmail.com. Yep. Hi. Um, it's Talk Baka on Twitter. I said Talk Baka. Okay. Just making sure. If you search right. Baka Talk in Google, we show up on Twitter. We do show. Uh, hopefully, eventually, and Baka Talk Studios will Apple show up as well. You can Spotify. also Google Sir Boom Anime, and it, all the Baka Talk stuff shows up. Google's like, I'm not insane. Kidding, like, Google's that's, insane. That's insane. That's weird. Google's crazy. On that, I have been Pyrolus. If I'm at Pyrolus 2, I think that'll be it for today. Yeah. That's all for us. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for listening. For consuming. Ilsai Kungu. Ciao, meow. See y'all later.